to go on to our next page. So we finished the center part. We have this next page which has these two pockets. So with these two pockets, what you're going to do, I have my double-sided sticky tape. If you guys don't have this, this is like really good for dry fitting everything, staging your creation, and seeing how it's going to look. So double-sided scotch tape. So what you're going to do is cut, find this piece, this is from the 8x8, and cut it to where you have the green border all the way around, ink the edges, and then mat it on red cardstock, the red cardstock that you have. I still ink those edges just to give it a little bit more texture. You're going to center that, have your tiny little review reveal around the edges of the red, and then you're going, so that's that card. Now this card, the way I composed this one, I have these two images, which are also from your 8x8. Go ahead and trim this holly piece just around so you have a little bit of that green, green border, and this one with that little tan border. So then you're going to put both of these on the same size Oh, I keep going out of frame. Same size of cardstock as this guy. And you're going to center it and get it on this cardstock. Remember, ink the edges on everything. I haven't, I haven't put these down yet. I'm just using the double-sided scotch tape to try it out. So those are your two top pieces. And here's my... This is from the 12 by 12, the candy stripe paper from the 12 by 12. You're going to cut a piece that fits over your pocket here with a little bit of black reveal all the way around. Ink the edges real well. So just measure, measure your pocket and take out, um, subtract about an eighth of an inch. I don't like a lot of reveal, but so I'm going to put that down here. Have your stripes going in the same direction as the stripes on this page, on this one that you put down, so there is some continuity. You always want your albums or folios to flow with each other, so this kind of helps create that flow. Same thing with this one. Cut it to the size of the pocket ink the edges, put that down, and then once those are secured, you're going to add your little cut aparts there, and you're gonna put those on. So that's what you're going to do. Now for the underbelly here, I use this. This is from the 12 by 12 collection also. also. Ink the edges, I guess I really didn't need to, to put scotch tape here because I'm covering them up so there's not going to be any hitting on that little um, edge right here. But anyway, put this down and then ink the edges as always and then you're going to secure your little pockets and I'm so OCD. So once it's down, you can see the little bit of, of this paper underneath in between. I did it so I have this little, the round dots centered right in the middle. I don't know, I just thought that looked nice to have those that big dot centered right in the middle. So put those down, and then that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to attach all this. And then, let's see, anything else there? Nope. And I'm going to attach this, and then I'll be right back. I was thinking, I wonder if they want to, if you all want to see me as I'm laying down the paper. I want to show you why I don't show that 
because it's so painful. If you watched my bill video, you know how I do things. I'm a score tape person. So like, I'll show you how I put this bottom piece on and then you'll go, oh, that's why she doesn't show us. So I put my score tape on. I burnish it real well. I go to my corners. I take a little piece of my tape off, put it back down. I'm just leaving a little bit of the, the score tape exposed. Take this one off, put it back down. Get this one straighter. See, you can always already tell, oh my God, what she's doing? What is she doing? Then I get my Tombow Aqua glue Put a little bit down. I can't see it, so I gotta go up here. I only put a little, itty, you can't see it. I only put a little bit down just so it gives me my wiggle room. I already told you art glitter glue doesn't give me enough time for my, my wiggle room. Sometimes I don't need much, sometimes I need more. Then I do my getting it straight, get my edges straight. I want to get my reveal straight. I want to make sure this line of the paper is in line with this paper. Try to get the border here the same. So you can see why I don't show you guys all this because it would just take way too much time. And then once I feel comfortable and depending on how I am, sometimes I don't feel comfortable at all. I will pull the tape so you can see. <laughs> then I hold it, pull the tape, put it down, pull the tape, put it down, there. So once I have my tape in, then I will go under and with my pick tool, pull out the other tapes. easy to do. Get it, put it down, burnish it real well. I like to do the creases in the pocket. Want those nice and flat. So that's how I put things down. So when I tell you I'm going to be putting them down and I'll be right back, that's what I mean. See, like right now I'm looking at this like, oh my gosh, I see it on the camera and I couldn't really see it. Next, when I was putting it down, I would look at this and go, oh, I should have made that line completely straight. I'm a little off there. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so that is why I don't show you <laughs> me putting down paper. So now I'm going to still have to do these, but I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're on the right pocket on the back panel, last page. You're going to be pulling out this paper, which is from the 12 by 12. This is the back side. Now, and you're going to be cutting it. This is almost six and a half. You're going to be cutting it six and a half minus an eighth um, and this is almost well this is four and a half four and a half this way four and a half six and a half almost minus an eighth now when you are cutting this pa pa paper you need to be mindful of Santa Claus you do not want to be cutting him so you decapitate him no headless Santas you don't want to be cutting him in half. So try to get a piece, and this was, I think, all the way to the left, the left top um, hand corner of the 12 by 12 sheet. That's where I got this from. So you're safe. You got a full Santa here, and you have a Santa down here that's been cut at the waist. So get that paper cut, and then ink the edges. 
And then what I like to do, and maybe you guys, you probably have better ideas than me how to do this. I've, we have our little notch here that we made with the, the paper, um, the paper, the, the whole, the whole, the circle punch, circle punch. So now I'm going to see, can I, can I put Santa in here? Will you fit in here, Santa, for me? Yes. So let me get Santa down in here. And now I'm just going to line them up so it's straight. The edges are straight here. And then I'm going to get my pencil. And I'm just going to mark this. So there's my mark. That way, when I put it in my circle punch, see if I can even see this. There's my circle punch. I see the pencil mark. And now, put this back in here so you can see. So now I have my cut edge and I know it's the, the right size. The other thing too, when you're cutting, you want to make sure you're not cutting into Santa's head. So this paper is just more, just make sure you've got your circle punch, you're not cutting into Santa, and you're not decapitating him anywhere. And then once you get that cut, go ahead and ink it. And now you're ready to place it. So I'm going to do my score tape, do my slow score tape all the way around. And then you're going to find this piece, which is on just the back side of the same paper as this. You're going to cut it a little less than six and a half inches so it fits in this pocket lengthwise and about three inches deep. Um, you don't need it to go all the way down. You just need it to go over those edges so it's going to go in like that. And then we will be making an insert for this pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this one and I'm going to tape all these down and then I'll be right back. I wanted to show you something else and those of you that are using adhesive this probably doesn't even apply to you but if you do use score tape and you want to know well how much score tape do I need to be putting Put on this back piece where do I stop so I usually will put it in uh, the paper and I go okay this is where I want it and then I will mark it here and here so that will tell me I need to put my score tape from here up here to here so then when I put it in obviously we don't have score tape um, deep to the pocket but I'll be able to put it in, and the way I do it, I will pull the score tape here, here, and here. It Just in case, you guys probably have another way of doing it, but that's the way I do it. So I'll be right back. So that's down, and we are done with the basic decoration of this little album. The next um, video will be on decorating the cover and the spines. So let's get started. <laughs> 